Hi, my name is Richard. I'm here to tell you about one of the most exciting new destinations opening up in the world of adventure travel, and that's Saudi Arabia. The Kingdom of Saudi Arabia only recently opened its doors to leisure travelers, thanks to a new visa scheme that started in 2019. We were lucky enough to visit the country, whose enormous landmass constitutes the bulk of the Arabian Peninsula, in January 2020. And in this short video, I'm going to tell you a bit about what you can expect to experience in this fascinating complex a largely desert country. Wild Frontiers tours begin in Jeddah, Saudi's second city after the capital of Riyadh. Located on the Red Sea coast, ancient Jeddah has grown from a fishing village and trading port, the country's leading commercial center today. It's considered to be one of the more open and cosmopolitan places within the kingdom. And here you can see the characteristic architecture of tower houses and coral buildings in its old town, a UNESCO World Heritage Site set against a backdrop of soaring skyscrapers. Beyond Jeddah, Saudi Arabia offers many highlights. Standout moments include the stunning views of the Two Wakes Escarpment, known as the Edge of the World, having a picnic lunch on the rim of the Al Waba Crater, a volcanic formation with a salt flat at its core, and feeling the ghost of the Lawrence of Arabia along the route of the old Hejaz Railway. The rock art site of Juba is quite momentous, and the nose-twitching sense of Boyaida's camel market are really hard to forget. However, the real jewel in the crown of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia has to be the ancient site of Al-Ula. It's here in the northwest of the country that you'll see Saudi's most iconic UNESCO-listed attraction, the monolithic tombs of Hegra, also known as Madayit Salah. This rock-carved city was the second settlement of the Nabataeans, who in the first century famously crafted their capital in Petra. But unlike Petra, you'll find very few tourists here. We spent a day exploring the ruins in the company of a knowledgeable guide who took us inside some of the 131 elaborate rock-cut tombs spread across four surviving necropoli. Each tomb is different in size and construction, many displaying Nabataean inscriptions and intricate facades. The wide area itself also contains some of the most stunning desert scenery you'll find anywhere on the planet. There are some iconic rock formations, such as the so-called Elephant Rock, and literally miles and miles of intricate canyons and sand dunes. We spent a whole morning exploring a beautiful area known as the Dancing Mountains. In some ways, it's reminiscent of Wadi Rum in Jordan, but again, with very few tourists here. Our Inside the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia tour is designed to give the flavor of Saudi Arabia, from its prehistoric past to its modern present. It gives us a good insight into previously closed kingdom and shows the many delights on offer for intrepid explorers. Natural landscapes, UNESCO sites, markets, state-of-the-art cities. When it comes to the practicalities, most prospective travelers have questions to do with cultural etiquette and entry regulations. So let me take this opportunity to tell you a little bit, a bit about how it was for us. Now it's worth stating that Saudi is a country which is going through immense changes. So it may have been true last year, last month, or even last week, may not be true by the time you come to visit. However, as of summer 2021, the following is still true. Firstly, is it difficult to get a visa? Absolutely not. It's an e-visa. It cost about $120, and ours came through in less than 24 hours. Secondly, can solo female travelers visit the country? No problem at all. We had one such woman on our trip, and there are no mandated clothing restrictions as there once used to be. Thirdly, will you actually meet Saudi women or are they all hidden away? Definitely you will meet Saudi women in the souks. We even had some female guides and drivers. All were very happy to talk openly about their life in the kingdom. Lastly, are the people friendly? From our experience, definitely. You might not be as immediately fascinating to locals as you will be in other parts of the world, this is mainly because Saudis are often very well traveled and they're quite accustomed to seeing foreigners in their country for work or religious visits. Saudis are also very family oriented and restaurants often have numerous enclosed dining areas for privacy. But in the markets, and as you travel around the country, you'll find very warm, healthy curiosity from the locals who for the most part seem to be welcoming with open arms and liberalizing through forums they are now making trips such as mine possible. As for when to go, we run this tour in the spring and autumn, a 
avoiding the high heat of the summer. We hope this short journey through the highlights of Saudi Arabia has given you the appetite to visit for yourself and that we at Wild Frontiers can take you there. Check our website for details on upcoming trips in 2021 and 2022. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching.